Infrared vs. Ceramic Heater This video will tell you everything you need to know about infrared vs. ceramic heaters, explain how they line up against each other, how they work, and which is best suited to your home. So, let's go. Number 1. Ceramic Heaters They are two types of electric heating methods, convection and radiant. Ceramic heaters are a type of convection heater. This is the standard heating method and has been for centuries. It's the process of heating by moving or pulling air over a hot surface, then blowing it out into the room. You can have fan or fanless convection heaters, but the principle is still the same. It's all about circulating the air through the heating system, so that eventually all of the air around you is warm. Number 2. Infrared Heaters Infrared heaters, on the other hand, are a type of radiant heater. That means that they heat objects directly. With infrared, this means sending infrared rays in a straight line to heat whatever is in its path. This could be the wall of your living room, which will then also radiate heat and bounce off a few extra infrared rays, or it could be a person standing directly in front of it. Unlike convection heaters, infrared heaters don't rely upon airflow or keeping the hot air inside. You can leave the window open on a winter's day and still have the same level of warmth comfort from your infrared heater. Number 3. Ceramic Heater Advantages Ceramic heaters are some of the latest in convection heating, since they utilize the ceramic plates and aluminium baffles to conduct electricity and heat. Ceramic plates have shown to be an incredibly efficient heating source, and since these plates can remain relatively small with good effect, this makes them an obvious portable option. Efficiency and portability are the main selling points of ceramic heaters over competing convection heaters, but these don't really match up too well against infrared. The main advantage of ceramic over infrared is the range or area that, that they can heat up. This is simply to do with the fact that they utilize convection heating properties which heat up the air in a room, rather than the objects directly. So, if you keep your ceramic heater on in the bathroom, you will likely get some overflow into the adjacent rooms, that is if your home is well insulated and no windows are open. At the end of the day, if you're comparing infrared and ceramic heaters, you're really looking at supplementary heating systems. I wouldn't recommend either of these heating systems as your primary source. I would say that each has its value. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe our channel.